All right, guys, it's that time of the week again, and we are back for our weekly championship score predict. All right, guys, it's that time of the week again, and we are back for our championship score predictions. Ten games coming up this weekend in the championship. We've also got a couple of FA Cup games to discuss as well. All of these matches, I want to get your verdict on in the comments down below. Drop your score predictions down there, but without any further ado, let's jump into the matches. Starting out with the big one, it's the South Wales Derby, Swansea going up against Cardiff and do you know what, Cardiff could fancy their chances for doing the double over Swansea for I think what would be the first time ever for Cardiff. They won the reverse fixture and they're definitely the team coming into this one with the form. They won their last four consecutive matches, a bonkers turnaround last time around against Ipswich and they're only five points adrift of the top six. That is a fairly big match margin to bridge with the games running out but still got an outside shot perhaps of the playoffs especially if they carry on winning matches like they've been doing recently now throughout this winning streak for Cardiff all of the games they've won have been by a one goal margin dare I say it I think this game's going to be quite tight where maybe a set piece or something like that dictates it for Swansea, it was quite a disappointing loss last time out against Bristol City. Had plenty of the ball in that game, but didn't really do much with it in terms of crafting out clear-cut opportunities. Derbies have the tendency to throw out strange results. I just think I'm a little bit more hot on Cardiff right now. Score prediction here, going to go 1-0 to the away side, which would be a massive result for them. Next then to St Andrews for Birmingham up against Watford. Birmingham in deep trouble right now. They had that game last night against Middlesbrough and it did not go their way. A 1-0 defeat and a really flat looking performance. No shots on target from Blues in that game. They now find themselves in a situation where they're 21st in the table and just one point above the relegation zone. Maybe a bit of encouragement from Blues going into this game could be the fact that if they do win they'll only be three points behind Watford so if Watford lose this one they really could be dragged into the battle beneath them in saying that i'm not quite sure which version of Watford's going to show up here. They made that decision to part ways with Valor and Ishmael. It's Tom Cleverley stepping into the interim role as manager. Do have a feeling this one's going to be a little bit ugly. For Blues to stay up from now until the end of the season, their home form is going to be absolutely imperative, especially as things on the road have taken a real slide of late. I think they're without winning their last five away matches, so they really may need to make games like this count. But with Watford potentially having a of a new manager bounce I could see the away side sneaking it 1-0 Watford I'm going to go in this one which really would leave Blues in it the next game to preview then sees Ipswich going up against Sheffield Wednesday. It's two sides who prior to last weekend were in really good form. Ipswich had won six on the bounce, Sheffield Wednesday had won four on the bounce, but each of their winning streaks coming to an end over the weekend, Wednesday at the hands of Leeds and Ipswich at the hands of Cardiff in that bonkers late turnaround. Who will bounce back in this game? Well, it's quite obvious I think a lot of people will see Ipswich as the favourites here and it is hard to look past their unbelievably good record at Portman Road up until this point of the season they've only lost one of their 18 home matches which is a large reason why they're still in the race for automatic promotion but it is worth pointing out that Sheffield Wednesday have significantly improved on the road of late let's not forget they have won their last two away matches in saying that I think that a lot of Sheffield Wednesday's wins especially on on the road have been built upon good defensive foundations keeping things tight at the back and then nicking a goal there's been quite a few one nils dotted throughout Sheffield Wednesday's recent upturn in form and I just can't see past Ipswich scoring at least two goals in that game and still maybe with a bit of a lack of firepower in that Wednesday squad I think this one could be quite difficult for them. From a Wednesday perspective after this game against Ipswich I do think they have some really winnable games on the horizon but dare I say it I think this one could be a bit tricky. Score prediction for me in this one going to go 3-1 Ips, which I do fancy them to bounce back here. After that, to the Riverside for Middlesbrough up against Blackburn. A good win for Borough in midweek. It's three wins on the bounce. This run of form has 
pretty much come out of nowhere from Burrow, but seems like a couple of the tweaks that Carrick has made recently have worked. Looked like a bit of an ugly win in midweek, but three points on the board. Does leave them just five points off the playoffs, and with Hull and Coventry not in championship action this weekend, gives them a bit of chance to claw back some ground on those teams as well. I do think that Burrow have probably left themselves with a bit too much to do between now and the end of the season to bridge that gap to sixth place, but hey, crazier things have happened. Blackburn without a win in their last nine away matches. It's been a miserable run of form for them of late. I think I fancy Borough's chances of beating them in this one. I know that you can never get too carried away with Borough, especially with their home form, which has been very spotty all year round. But in saying that, I'm going to back them here. 2-0 Middlesbrough, I'm saying for this one, which would be four wins on the bounce for them. Next up then to Plymouth up against Preston. Ryan Lowe's return to home park. And both teams could really do with a result in this one for differing reasons. For Plymouth, it's just a three-point gap between themselves and the bottom three. And that could be severely reduced this weekend if they don't get a result against North End. From Preston's perspective, I really think we have to bounce back in this game if we want to keep our playoff hopes alive. We are boosted a little bit by the fact that neither Hull or Coventry are in championship action this weekend. So we'll have the chance to claw back a little bit of ground on them, at least for the time being. But there was no doubt that last time out against Stoke, we massively fell below our standards that we had set for ourselves recently. It became a little bit of an ugly game. And dare I say it, I think that's what this game could potentially unfold into. Bit of a blow for North End as well. It seems like Ben Whiteman could be out of action for a little bit with that injury he sustained against Stoke as well. But in saying that, I do think we have to take advantage of a Plymouth side who are badly out of form right now. Home form's been a massive asset for Plymouth so far this season, but even that started to take quite a drastic fall off of late. Don't get me wrong, there have been some hard games in there for Plymouth of late, but they've lost their last three consecutive home matches and are without a win at home park in their last four games now. Feels like the pressure is cranking up on Ian Foster. Score prediction for this game. Game. Uh, I'm going to go 2-1 Preston, but I almost feel like I'm doing that out of hope rather than me actually believing it. I wouldn't be surprised if that's an unhelpful draw. Next, then, we head to Rotherham up against Huddersfield, a massive game at the bottom of the championship. And dare I say it, I do think this is a must-win game for Huddersfield. We've spoken about Rotherham quite a bit on the channel recently, but it's nine consecutive defeats. That is the longest consecutive losing streak in the championship this season. A hammering away at Norwich last time out, although I still have it in the back of my mind that Rotherham will pop up with a surprising performance between now and the end of the season and they will catch someone out. From a Huddersfield perspective it's only Rotherham who have won less matches than they have so far this season but this is a golden opportunity for them to escape the bottom three. Last time out against West Brom actually thought it was a really good first half performance from them but then the script was completely flipped in that second half and it didn't take long until that game just completely got away from them. They need to be on their A game in this one and I think I have to back Huddersfield here, don't I? Score prediction for me, going to go 2-1 Huddersfield. Don't think it'll be comfortable, but I think they'll get over the line. Next then we go to Stoke up against Norwich. A big result for Stoke last time out at Deepdale. Really made that game a fight, and I think that's what they need to do for all of these matches between now and the end of the season. We've spoken about it with Stoke quite a few times this season, but it's absolutely imperative that they score first in a game like this. I do have the feeling that if Norwich grab a goal early on, they could start gathering that momentum and Stoke suddenly find it hard to find a way back into this game but if Stoke strike early on they could make this one really ugly and perhaps to a sort of game which doesn't quite suit Norwich it's really quite bizarre actually how conflicting Norwich's form is at home and away from home at Carroll Road they're absolutely ruthless they score a bucket full of goals and you usually back them to get a result on the road it's not always been the case. They've only won four of their 18 away matches this season. It was a quite bad result last time on the road as well against Middlesbrough. And with a Stoke side that suddenly seemed to be up for the fight with the fans more behind them now as well. I wouldn't discount them from getting something from this game. It is worth flagging up that Stoke will be without Berger for this game. He picked up a yellow card against North End so will be serving a suspension. Do you know what though? I think they could get a point at battling one at that. Score prediction here 
Going to go for a 1-1 draw. Still Norwich's away form, which concerns me with them a little bit. Next up to the Stadium of Light for Sunderland up against QPR. It's six consecutive defeats for Sunderland. The loss last time out against Ipswich. And surely QPR have to fancy their chances of getting something on the road here. Not only are they going up against a badly out of form Sunderland side, but also a Sunderland side who are really struggling with injuries right now, particularly in their defensive line. Looks like Dan Ballard could be out with a knock from this one, along with the injuries they've got at the moment. Luke 9 still serving that suspension as well. I think it's up to 10 senior players that Sunderland have got out injured at the moment. So QPR absolutely need to capitalise on that sort of situation. And you know what? They've been fairly good value for money on the road of late. They have won their last two away matches. Let things slide a little bit with that one last time out against Middlesbrough. Dare I say it, I think this is a decent opportunity for them to bounce back. Score prediction for me in this one, going to go 2-1 QPR. Next then to the Hawthorns for West Brom up against Bristol City. What a mad game that was for West Brom last time out. Thought it was a really mediocre first half from them against Huddersfield, but immediately out of the traps in the second half and they turn it around to get a 4-1 win. Mikey Johnson in the form of his life right now, love watching him play. Wouldn't put it past him to be the game changer in this sort of match either. Hard to look past how good West Brom's record at the Hawthorns has been throughout the whole season as well in saying that Bristol City are the sort of tricky customer that can cause problems especially to those sides in the top six I know they didn't get a result against Ipswich when they went to Portman Road but they put up a hell of a fight didn't look like the prettiest games last time out for Bristol City but they got over the line with a 1-0 win over Swansea the Baggies haven't kept a clean sheet in their last four matches I could see Bristol City scoring but I think I give the edge to the home side here. Score prediction for me, going to go 2-1 West Brom. Then to finish off the championship games for the weekend with Leeds going up against Millwall. And what an opportunity this is for Leeds. With Leicester not in championship action this weekend, they do have the opportunity to go top of the table if they beat Millwall by more than one goal in this match. And... Yeah, what an achievement that would be for Daniel Farkas side. The amount of points they've clawed back on Leicester over this calendar year has been absolutely miraculous. But you know what? I'd back there to be a little bit of spice in this fixture. There always tends to be when Leeds go up against Millwall. And obviously it is a rejuvenated Millwall side of late who have picked up 10 points from the last 12 available under Neil Harris. Expect Millwall to try and make this game a little bit ugly, be defensively resolute and then look to nick a goal. But even in some of these more banana skin sort of matches of late Leeds have been really good at getting through them especially at Ellen Road where they have been so strong the best team in the championship in fact when based on home form score prediction for me in this game I'm going to go 2-0 Leeds and back them to go top of the championship going into the international break. Before we round off today's video as well, we will quickly preview the FA Cup matches that we've got this weekend, which are involving a championship side. The first game being Wolves going up against Coventry. Looking forward to this one, actually. No doubt about it that Wolves are the favourites coming into this fixture, but dare I say it, the stars could have aligned for Coventry to cause a bit of an upset in this one with some of the key injuries that that Wolves have at the moment, especially to some of their attacking players. I would fancy Cov to try and go punch for punch with them in this one, obviously. They've had plenty of goals in them lately. I'm forever an optimist of wanting to see championship sides do well in the FA Cup, so why not? I'll back Cov 2-1 to progress through to the semi-finals. The other game in the FA Cup we've got involving a championship side sees Chelsea going up against Leicester. While Chelsea have been pretty erratic in the Premier League throughout the season when they have come up against championship opposition they've usually tended to deliver they put four goals past Preston in the FA Cup earlier on they put six goals again they put six goals past Middlesbrough in the EFL Cup and put three past Leeds as well. Leicester themselves having a bit of a slide off right now, but the cup competitions can always throw up a wacky result or two. In saying that, I do think Chelsea will win this one and progress to the semis. Score prediction there, going to go 3-1 Chelsea. But guys, there you have it. Those are my score predictions for the weekend's action. Do get yours in the comments down below. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. And I'll see you all in the next one.